Hi everybody, I'm so glad to be here with you today um, to answer one of the old age questions of whether or not dogs can see in color. A lot of us think they can see in black and white, but they actually can see some colors and we'll demonstrate that for you today. Before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more content just like this. Most of us think of people being colorblind as being only to be able to see in black and white, and the same with dogs. However, most people are considered red, green colorblind, and that is exactly what it is for dogs. So the difference is, is that people can normally see three different spectrums where dogs can only see two when it comes to color. So if we think of how we perceive colors, if we were to look at these two balls, one is green and one is red, we can clearly see that. When a dog looks at them, they will actually see these two colors, sort of a muted yellow and this muted sort of brown color. So they still see a color, just not as bright and as distinguished as the colors that are here. So it's fantastic that we have Dougie with us here today because he is a black and white dog and that's how we see him. Um, however, other dogs may see the black as a black or a muted gray, and they don't really see the bright white color either. So he's basically gonna be a dark gray and a light gray color dog in the perception of, of other dogs. So even though we know now that dogs can see some colors, not maybe the same spectrums of colors that we can see, um, the real question is, is, does it really matter to them? Um, science hasn't really told us whether or not the dog prefers a red toy versus a green toy versus a blue toy or maybe a favorite sweater that you're wearing but what we do know is that all of their senses come into play when choosing things that they like including the texture of something the taste of something the sound of something um, all of those things and so color may not even be important Alrighty, so we can see that Dougie's already interested in the toys that I'm holding, and he's choosing the yellow, um, mostly because it's probably a ball, but if he knew that this would squeak, he might want this one instead. Um, but if you're going to be doing, um, want to really use tracking games, use colors that the dogs can actually recognize. Um, you can actually teach your dogs to, um, to recognize certain things as a color, but they're not actually seeing this. If I told Dougie to get the red ball, he doesn't know that it's red. He just knows that I've said that it's red. And he likes that one. <laughs> and as you can see, color does not uh, matter as to which toy he may want to play with. For more great information like this, please visit Shelter Health Pro where you'll find tons of great resources for stress reduction, enrichment, training, and disease and infection control to support your shelter. And if you like this video today, please hit subscribe so you can see more in the future.